A visit to the New York Stock Exchange is always high on the list of things to do for those visiting the Big Apple. But just a few blocks away from the exchange is an even more popular New York landmark, the iconic Wall Street Bull, that over the years has come to represent both the good and the bad of the financial capital of the world. We don't know exactly the meaning of the bull, but I think it's strength. This is the famous bull of Lower Manhattan. Yes, it's a classic. It's a classic. Okay. It has become one of New York City's biggest attractions. People from all over the world come to see it, to be near it, to touch it. Some people told me that if you touch the, the bull, it will get lucky, so I did it. The bull is the star of a new short film by Mark Nicholas called My Life in the Canyon of Heroes. Back in 1989, just before Christmas, I was impounded and put in a warehouse in Queens. It's captured a lot of attention, enough for the Smithsonian to notice. It's now a Smithsonian in Motion short film finalist. While the film isn't meant as a political statement, in some ways I'm trying to take the bull away from the bankers and sort of back to the people. The 7,100 pound, 16 foot long bronze bull was sculpted by this man, Italian artist Arturo de Modica. When you made the bull, what was your vision behind your sculpture. My vision was give strength and power to young people towards a better future. We introduced him to the man immortalizing his bull on film. So you gentlemen just met for the first time. And Arturo, what do you think of Mark's work? The work is fantastic and I think it did a really, really good job. The bull was a Christmas gift to the people of New York City after the 1987 stock market crash. Arturo claims the New York Stock Exchange wanted a bear too. But that wasn't in the cards. After the stock market, you know, crash, that's my idea of what I'm going to do. I did the bull because the bull is means you know, power. The sculpture moved downtown just a few blocks to Bowling Green Park, where it still sits today. This is the perfect place for the bull. It sure is. By many accounts, the bull is now the second most visited landmark in all of New York City, second only to the Statue of Liberty.